Hey guys, what are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node placement in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. This will be a timeless reading, so it's whenever you come across this reading is where it's most likely to resonate for you and not necessarily just when I post the video. So if you do happen to see this at a later date, please don't be overly concerned by that as there may still be messages in here for you. This is a general reading, so with the messages, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest and please use your own sense of discernment with these messages and not force them to fit with a particular situation. So guys, let's get into your reading. This is the Modern Witch Tarot that we're using today. So Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North No placements, what do they need to know in regards to the current energies for the next seven days from whenever they see of this reading, please and thank you. What do they need to know, please and thank you. Two more shuffles and then we'll cut up the deck and get straight into your reading. So thank you for your patience, guys. I really appreciate it. What's going on for you? Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. Need a bit... Ah, there we go. I was just getting called to say I want a bit more clarity on the situation, which is really interesting with the Justice card coming through. Uh, Libra energy. Um, you know, this is a card of confusion. This is a card of clarity. So amongst all the... Um, I'm hearing the illusions... Um, certain things are playing out as of right now, or they have been. Um, certain truths are being revealed and clarity is coming to light and justice is working in your favour, okay? And I feel like you've paid off um, major karmic debts here, okay? It may not just have been one thing, it could have been several things and it's taken a lot out of you. You may have felt a little bit lost at one point, a little bit unsure about whether the path that you're on is the right one, or, you know, there may have been indicators for you to potentially doubt of yourself as certain things may have not necessarily materialized for you in your physical reality with certain, um, you know, wishes that you have been wanting here. But look, your ships are coming in with the three of wands. You're getting the new beginning, the new start, the fresh energy coming in for you after everything that you have been going through and experiencing. And there's been a lot to deal with, okay, to the point where you've probably felt a little bit overwhelmed here, okay? But clarity is coming in. Truths are being revealed. And you're going to be feeling a lot better about certain things happening in your life very shortly, okay? Very shortly, I just got the Hierophant, Taurus energy, and we're currently in Taurus season as I'm filming of this reading. Queen of Pentacles, strong earth placements coming through, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Empress, more Taurus coming through, Libra as well as Divine Feminine Energy and the Six of Wands. Gosh, guys, look, if you've been feeling a certain type of way about your career, about your finances, maybe even a little bit unsure in regards to love, you're having a major turnaround. I'm hearing like a complete 180 and you're moving on forward with the chariot in some amazing ways here. Something to do with from now to cancer season is going to be highly significant for you guys, okay? You're meant to be living this a very abundant life, and you will be getting of that abundant life very, very soon, okay? As I think say that, the full Aries energy, this new beginning that you have been hoping, wishing, wanting, praying for is coming into fruition and it's manifesting for you with that magician, Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio energy, okay? So please don't worry, 
please don't worry about how things may have previously been or even how things may be currently are. You have some really wonderful energy coming in that's shaking that ish up for you. As I say that with the death card, Scorpio energy, this is sudden upheaval. This is, you know, simultaneous endings and new beginnings coming into play. And we've just recently had the full moon in Scorpio, the pink moon, right? Which was very, very powerful, okay? So I feel like in regards to, oh, look at that. Five of Pentacles. All my cards are upright, but that wanted to showcase in reversal. So this means that you're leaving this energy of a position and place of lack. Okay? You're stepping into this sense of abundance, right? So you may not necessarily see how, when, why, how this major transformation or this kind of metamorphosis is taking place for you in your life and i feel like you don't really need to know or have of all the answers but just to have this sense of trust and faith okay taking that leap of faith that everything is kind of working out for you and that everything is going to be okay look at that with the moon this is all to do with something being in the dark not being revealed things not being shown to you right this is a card that indicates having to have trust and faith, right? So we just got that basically clarified here with that card. And I was just talking about the moon, right? And we saw Pisces energy with that moon card, okay? So there's something very significant to do with the moon cycles, right? That's <laughs> maybe something to do with manifesting your new intentions on a new moon, maybe you did of that or maybe you released a lot of energy like stagnancy um on that full moon okay or maybe just kind of previous but with you doing of this emotional release with the king of cups and letting go of the old and surrendering it's like all this new energy is just rushing in and it's coming in for you and it's coming in quickly and you're gonna have that recognition that reward that success that appreciation whatever it is, in whatever area of your life, you're going to be fully seen, I'm hearing, fully seen, okay, as I say that, there's the star, there's your energy, Aquarius, and it landed right on top of the Empress, I mean, how amazing was that, okay, you've dealt with a lot of heartache, a lot of betrayal, a lot of pain, okay, healing of a broken heart here, there have been many times where you've had to repress or suppress your emotions, okay, in certain instances, because you may have felt like you didn't have the freedom to be able to express of yourself in certain ways, but because you worked through whatever you needed to, okay, it could be in regards to friends or family in particular, as I say that with the three of cups, it could be to do with work, whatever it's been, right, you've done it, you've worked through whatever you needed to, this inner child healing here with the sun, and because you stuck at it, even when everything else in your physical reality told you, or showed to you, that things were not going to be improving, or it's going to continue being of the same, the current energy is showcasing that there is a miracle taking place, and it's coming in for you, I'm hearing just for you, so whatever goodness is coming in for you, don't be out here kind of sharing it to, you know, for everybody else, okay? You know, first and foremost, you need to make sure that you're looking after yourself and you're needing to meet your own kind of wants, desires, needs in order for you to have this new beginning. And then whatever you have left over, 10, 10 on my timer as I say this, then you can go out and help and be generous and do whatever which you want to do with whatever resources or finances or etc that you're accumulating and want to be kind of handing out here okay as i say that king of cups because obviously you you know you're somebody that is coming from a very pure place you have a big heart you know you're very generous okay so just know that you're being kind of divinely guided intuitively guided to keep persevering on your path and know that there's a massive switch up happening for you 
where you're going to be catapulted into this new beginning that you have been wishing and praying and yearning and longing for i'm hearing for the longest of time now that could mean you know financial independence financial stability security um that could mean that you know you wanted to have of your own place potentially or you wanted to move or relocate or travel or you've wanted to become self-employed an entrepreneur or you have wanted um to be able to be in a long-term commitment with a strong love relationship, a true partnership. So like with a soulmate, a past life connection or a twin flame energy, like to have of that marriage, um, whatever it is, maybe your own family or like children, if that is something that resonates, um, but it's all coming in for you, okay? I'm hearing that you dealt with having to be in survival mode for the longest of time and now you're getting taken out of that you're getting taken out of that and you're about to thrive okay yeah ten of wands like i just said about being in survival mode you're not going to have to work like a dog anymore look contrasting energy you're going from the ten of wands to the ten of pentacles you know, it's not been an overnight thing for you to get to this position and place to accumulate what it is that you want for yourself. And it's not like you're somebody who is even overly materialistic. You know, I'm hearing that you've never really asked for much. And to a certain extent, you may have these certain dreams that you're wanting. Um, and you may have been fearful to ask for more than that because you may have been like, I'm hearing too humble. But you're actually being guided here to dream bigger, okay? And this could be pretty groundbreaking information for you at, in some instance here with the Tower, Aries and Scorpio energy because it's like, but I've already been dreaming, you know, like just so that I can be in this position and place where I'm feeling more comfortable and more at peace with my day-to-day -day life. You know, I'm not expecting to be like a, a multi-millionaire or a celebrity or to be famous or to be, you know, whatever. But I feel because you haven't been necessarily seeking out of certain things for just your own personal gain, because you actually want to be of service and help and assist in regards to humanity, I'm hearing that you're going to be able to be so blessed to the point that you will have the excess to help and assist of others but first and foremost needing to take care of yourself and then share afterwards as i say that with the sun this is prosperity this is success breeding success okay if you've been worried about your health you've had health issues that's all changing okay things are improving you know the sun is the happiest card in the deck Justice is coming in for you. Balance, harmony. I'm hearing, let's, you know, let us take it from here, as in from the universe. It's like delegate it to the universe to get their hands, you know, in the thick of it, kind of, you know, to help you out. They, they want to be there to support you. Even if necessarily you can't see of how things are changing up for you, just know that they are. And they are in a big, big way here, guys. Absolutely. Oh, that wanted to show through. Yeah, eight of wands. Some of you will be required to travel or to move or relocate. This is going to be a very fast transition. You're going to receive a phone call or a text message or an email or start communic communicating with someone. Okay. And they're going to be coming through because they've been guided to, I'm hearing, meet up with you, to connect and talk to you, okay? But you don't see of this because there are certain things that are being done behind the scenes. I'm hearing your name is being talked about in places, in rooms that you have not even entered in, okay? Yeah, four of wands. You're about to have a lot of peace, a lot to be grateful for, a lot to celebrate with this four of wands. This is definitely in regards to, um, for some of you, moving, 
okay maybe even to a foreign country somewhere where there's a warmer climate here okay Tr yeah definitely traveling with the knight of wands maybe just even a a long break that you've needed just to be able to rest and recuperate to get your energy back so that just before you get into this brand new beginning of your life you've managed to kind of let go of whatever you felt that you've needed to in order to receive okay what else for these messages oh wow i was just thinking there is a strong love connection coming in before i saw this like i heard a divine union and i'm not surprised by that with the four of wands the 11 11 card the empress which is divine feminine the star the magician okay and then the knight of cups to clarify you know okay it's coming in someone who feels very strongly for you is getting ready to make an appearance in your life and i'm hearing show up and show out okay you're going to be a little bit cautious about this when this does happen because it's like well i'm hearing well why now why now after of everything here with the ten of swords that we went through what about this and what about that etc etc but this person the reason why they haven't come forward before is because they've been so hurt or they felt on some level that you would reject them if they came forward and it would be pointless of them coming forward if they didn't feel like there was some sort of hope or a chance that you would be able to rekindle of things with each other this person for the longest of time has been behind the scenes strategizing on how to heal of this situation with you and this person wants you to know that they are wanting to invest in this okay properly this person knows that you have been self-sufficient okay and you've had a hard time and you've definitely put love on the back burner you've not really been interested you've had way too much focus on your career or on your finances but i don't feel like that's because um you know you've completely sworn off love or anything like that to a certain extent i feel like you've not really had much choice in the matter like you may have dealt with something very troublesome in regards to your career or your finances whereby you may have felt like you you know lost of everything at one point and it has been an ordeal to put yourself back on your feet again okay but you managed to do it with the strength card leo energy you manage to persevere and with the tower whenever there is chaos now in your life i feel like you're able to stay really quite grounded here as i say that with the emperor and be in the control the power position as much as possible when certain things kind of fall apart okay you're able to i'm hearing stand the test of time i just saw the emperor with the queen of swords which is your energy guys okay so oh goodness me what was that six of pentacles and the devil capricorn energy this wanted to show through as well with the high priestess and then the three of pentacles yeah so the thing is you've had to deal with a lot of um spiritual warfare here okay you've dealt with psychic attacks you've dealt with a lot of low vibrational kind of karmic energy around you whereby you may have felt in the first instance that things were relatively fair in certain connections but then shortly after you kind of realized that it absolutely wasn't um not everything was what it seemed and this has been difficult for you but i'm hearing you survived you survived and it wasn't easy you've done a lot of this struggling on your own okay you've been struggling in private with that moon card you've been keeping things a secret but i feel that you will soon i'm getting told be guided to share of your story and this is what's going to catapult you into this next level into the success i'm hearing whether you feel like you're able to do it or not there's going to be something that happens whereby there may be no choice other than you'll have to do it okay 
yeah which could be stressing you out a little bit for the nine of swords you've been worried about some sort of secret coming out it's like information that you know of here and you know that i'm hearing you're the innocent party in all of this but there's still this potential feeling of guilt for some reason or shame or embarrassment or humiliation of whatever it is that you've previously experienced in your past right but i'm hearing it's nothing to be ashamed of yeah with temperance sagittarius energy i'm hearing these people are in the wrong look at that justice these are the people who are in the wrong not you this could be in regards to family, friends, work, however it goes. You've been a little bit concerned about something coming to light and then people seeing of you or your situation in a different light or it's being drawn attention to where you didn't want attention to be drawn to. But you're going to be getting this sense of courage to be able to let yourself be more vulnerable. Authentic, I'm hearing, is the word and take your power back here with the emperor aries energy interesting but you have been in your head about this now obviously that that does all sound a little bit specific but i feel like you guys will kind of know what i mean now this is really unusual for me i don't really kind of do the readings like this but i'm just getting kind of guided to do so so that's what we're doing what's this kind of the secret that you know of, that you've had this, this deep intuitive knowing of for a very long time, okay, that you kind of want to come out, but you don't want it to come out at the same time, okay? What is this about? As an example, what, what, what can we, for this, what's this about? This is about family, Ten of Cups, and also about love here with the lovers, okay? Yeah, King of Swords, there's your energy, Aquarius. You know, I said to you about telling of your story, speaking your truth. There's always two sides to a story. How will people know that there's two sides of a story if you don't even stand up for yourself and champion of a cause and speak up for yourself? If you're too fearful to do so. But what's coming through is that if you do do of this, it's like you're going to be released from some sort of, I'm hearing generational curse, potentially. Or this will... I'm hearing hit the final nail in the coffin to do with closing of a karmic cycle and then you can kind of fly away free here like these butterflies okay i'm hearing free as a bird so butterflies may be of significance here for you okay but there will be potential chaos or uproar by other people maybe saying of certain things that they don't agree with you or they don't see things from your perspective or how could you say of certain things but you're like look these are facts, these are truths, you know, these are things that I have personally gone through, and if you don't like the sound of whatever it is that I'm speaking, because I'm hearing I'm no liar here, um, then either they should have done of something differently for in regards to their behaviour or certain actions that they did, or it's about time that they open their eyes and see things the way that you do and actually consider that as an actual perspective here rather than just kind of being blindfolded and i'm hearing enabled in some sort of way by somebody or something else around them okay let them truly see of the truth here with the judgment i feel like you know of your truth okay and you're about to kind of speak up on it or you're being guided to do so and this is all kind of i'm hearing fated for some reason yeah, Four of Cups. These two. Chariot, Three of Swords, King of Cups, Two of Wands. 
there's this fear that if you open up about this and you're not repressing your emotions or feelings anymore and you are speaking from your heart space and you are speaking of your truth and you're bringing clarity on a situation and I feel like there's been this sense of being concerned about how does how others are going to be perceiving of you whether they're going to reject you or abandon you or they're going to I'm hearing cast you out in some way even if they do even if these people do cast you out for speaking of your truth I'm hearing they're not meant to be in your life anyway regardless of the connection that you share with these people okay you need to carry on through and eventually these people will have i'm hearing the emotional intelligence the emotional maturity to then see you know what it is that you were seeing that you had clarity on a long time ago but that may not happen until they've i'm hearing grown up a few more years and so therefore you may be on some aspect for a little bit of time having to strike out and be on your own with this kind of rebellious streak and others may see you as I'm getting like some sort of outcast or outlaw or whatever. I don't know why I'm getting all of this. Like the, I'm hearing the black sheep of the family. You may resonate as a black sheep of the family. And there will be sadness because it's like, why can't they just see things from my perspective? You know, why don't they just take the rose tinted glasses off? You know, certain people are not ready to see of certain things in the way that you see of them. And there's a reason for that, even if we don't necessarily know and understand it at the time. But until that day comes where people kind of look back in hindsight and I'm hearing do some sort of healing on themselves and then look retrospect in their past and kind of start piecing things together, you are choosing to be on this path here with the two of ones of actually making a move to else to go elsewhere and separate yourself okay you may have debated about whether i should stay or i should go but look with divine timing with the wheel of fortune this fated event destiny is coming into play and you are moving on forward leo taurus scorpio aquarius and sagittarius energy may be significant okay Any other final messages, please, for this reading for Aquarius? This is not going to resonate for everyone. But I am getting what I'm getting, and I'm just going with the flow with the reading, guys. The Hermit. What do you want to say about this Hermit? Why is this here? Virgo Energy. I felt this one. King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius placements. Yeah, I'm hearing it's time for you to get out of your comfort zone. You're being intuitively guided to take action. You've done a lot of healing, a lot of soul searching. You've been in isolation, okay? But now with the Ace of Wands, it's time for you to get up and move. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to have that new beginning in your life. And I'm hearing live the life for you the way that you want to live it, okay? regardless of what any other person sits here and thinks about you and their opinions, okay? Because there's your energy again with the King of Swords, right? This is somebody who's very headstrong here, who knows what they want. And I'm hearing, and I guarantee you, that there's also a very strong love connection coming into play, who's also going to assist you in this particular process of you getting more in touch with your authentic self who's going to kind of stand up for you who's going to fight your corner who's going to protect you who's going to be there to make sure that you know that you're not on your own okay as i often say that with the three of cups you're not on your own love again two of cups okay strong message very synchronistic here you're not alone and even if you feel like you haven't got that many friends, okay, or you were fearful about making new friends or letting people know more about you and your life, okay, you will soon be making new friends, new connections. And also a love connection is also going to be so integral for you, okay. And this is worth, this is worth it. 
there will be people who get you okay people that will understand you people who will resonate with you people who have been in similar situations that you have and will totally get you know they will totally get it you know sometimes it's and it ends up being that people who are complete strangers to us you know they will kind of resonate more and be more supportive than people who could even be in our own friends or family group or people that we work with any other final message but you will have a lot to celebrate king of pentacles king and queen of pentacles yeah there is someone who really wants to be of a support to you okay they know that you haven't had it easy they know that you have been working very diligently here on your career on your finances there are many opportunities coming in for you i'm hearing all at once and you may feel a bit taken back by all of this coming in because you will be a little bit unsure about which path to take or which option to choose. But just trust in yourself and know that whatever it is that you do decide to do or what path you do decide to take, if it's not necessarily the right one straight away, the universe will come into play and redirect you on this course creation, course, wow, course correction so that you can then create what it is that you've actually been desiring and visualizing and wishing for and it's going to help you bring you back on that particular path so even if at first you're like oh i've made a massive mistake by doing of this or you know i shouldn't have done that whatever like you're always going to be kind of guided back okay death card and the eight of cups scorpio energy you're so ready to leave of something but look 88 here with the Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, everything is fine. Yeah, you finished a major or many com completed. I'm hearing you've completed many karmic cycles. Your heart's not in it. You've worked very diligently to get to where you are now, to build the foundation that you have, you know, and you're about to go through a major rebirth in your life. And it's going to make you feel incredibly good here with that Queen of Wands, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You're going to feel like you can really trust of yourself, trust of your intuition, trust of the decisions that you've been making. Um, and just feel really kind of proud of oneself with everything that you've gone through, all the trials and tribulations that you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel and you've made it out to the other side, despite all the grief, the deep heartache, the pain, the sadness, the feeling stuck and stagnant energy, the drama, whatever, the conflict, you're getting away from all of that. As I say, that sudden departure in regards to the Knight of Swords and there's your card, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Interesting, guys. So obviously with this reading, um, it's very different from anything else that I've done for you guys, but I got what I got and delivered the messages. I know this is not the usual way that I read, but um, this is what it felt like it was called for. So that's the way that it is. But obviously, um, most of the signs are obviously here because there are a lot more cards um, that I've pulled than I would do usually. The signs that I called out earlier could be significant for your sun, moon, rising or Venus placements for yourself or someone you're dealing with, potentially a love interest here. Um, you know, 777 444 and 555 and 999 may be very significant. You could be seeing of these um, numbers, guys. But that's going to be the end of your reading. So I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And if you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links available. So thank you so much to those of you who have already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. If you did wish to financially donate, there's a link in the description box below with a um, link for the PayPal for the channel. And the other option is Super Thanks, which is listed underneath this video. So thank you so much to you guys for doing of this. 
even if you don't financially donate a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like share subscribe comment down below and i'll get back to you guys on those comments when i can i really do greatly appreciate it um, also guys please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when i post another video for you so you don't miss out on future updates or any new content may being made available on the channel Thank you to my members, you guys mean a great deal to me and if you wish to be a member there's a link in the description box below with all the information that you need, so thank you. But please feel free to check out your other zodiac signs for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North node placements in your birth chart so that you can receive more free messages in regards to the current energies for your timeless next 7 day reads. Again, thank you so much for being here, sending love and light your way, many blessings, please take care. And I'll see you and speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.